This is your CBSLA.com News Brief. Hello and welcome to your CBSLA.com News Brief. I'm Paul Majors. A mountain lion alert in Fontana. Police say a German shepherd was attacked in the backyard of a home on Foxborough Drive. The dog didn't survive the attack. The mother of two young boys found wandering the streets of South LA is behind bars facing child abuse charges. Someone recognized Sidwika Wilson from news reports and flagged down officers. Her children are in protective custody. A traffic nightmare on the west side. Parts of the 40510 and PCH were closed as Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's motorcade drove to a private home in Malibu. We may see more traffic trouble around 8 a.m. Thursday when he visits the Museum of Tolerance. Long Beach mayoral candidate Bonnie Lowenthal sent out a very embarrassing mailer to thousands of voters. On the front, it features San Diego skyline instead of Long Beach. Her campaign manager has taken responsibility. For the latest on these stories and your news any time of the day, stay with CBSLA.com. Now here's Jackie, Jackie, Jackie Johnson with a check on the weather. Jackie. Thank you very much, PM in the PM. And uh, this PM, we do have some clouds and fog that is rolling in. Uh, we will see clouds and fog tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, we are looking at partly cloudy skies, nice mild temperatures, but a big warm up as we head into the weekend. 70s and 80s are in the forecast. Now here is Gary Miller with sports. Jackie, thanks. After he withdrew from the Honda Classic in the final round this past Sunday, Tiger Woods will be on the course tomorrow. After receiving treatment all week long since withdrawing Sunday, back spasms won't keep him out of the WGC Cadillac Championship. Woods won the event in Doral last year. Remember, you can always find the latest scores here on CBSLA.com. Paul Netanyahu Majors, back to you. Nice. Uh, Gary, I can't chew like Reggie Miller. That's your CBSLA.com news brief. Remember, we're always on. Click Listen Live on our webpage to hear KNX News Radio and our other stations live anywhere.